Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Aussie Farming in the Philippines. Well, it's time to do the chicken tractor. So this is the ones I made many years ago and made it out of the uh, blue poly pipe and uh, it's lasted very, very good. And I mean very good. And the best thing about this one, like, um, I'll, I've seen many of them on the YouTubes and a lot of them are made out of wood, they call them uh, chicken tractors. To me, I just call it a chicken hut. But uh, look, it's so light, this is so light to pick up that, um, like, so look, look, this, look, look, it's as light as anything, very light. So we're going to change the design on this one here. I'm going to cut these perches off and I'm just going to put one big perch right the way down through the centre. And that way the sides are clear because I want to use this one where, where the turkey's laying her eggs outside on the grass. And that way I can put this down on the side and no one's shitting on her. Where if these rails are here, they'll just shit down on top of her. So I'm just going to run one through the centre here. I'm going to put a new door on, because this one's a little bit tethered. Like I said, it's been a few years old, but uh, it's worked very, very well. So what we're going to do, we'll put some straps around here. We'll tie all the bottoms off, back onto here again. We'll cut the, um, put a new bamboo in here. Because when we put plastic over the top, the chickens like to jump on top of this. So what I do is I put a bamboo pole across the top here, and that's a perch for them. Now, the other one I did, I put um, roof and tin on it, and I put that all the way up on the first third, which was um, a metre on this side here. I put the tin across here, but I tell you, it's, it's, it's much heavier, so I don't want to go that way. That's why I'm going to go back to this one with plastic. I'd rather replace the plastic every six months and uh, have it easy and lightweight. So um, that's what we're going to do, guys. I'll tell you, these things work very well. And what I normally do is, the young chickens, like now, the mother's hatched them out, I'll put them in the hotel. Now, I'll leave them in the hotel for a month with their mother, singing Kumbaya together. And then by that stage, they're big enough, and they can all go inside here. And I raise them in here for about another two months, and then let them out. And they've got free ranging all the grass. Just move it every day. They get to eat all the grass. They love the grass. They love the salads. Seriously. So if you have chickens in a chicken house, I know some people are restricted in small areas, but if you have chickens inside a chicken house, they're got, not getting the veggies unless you take it to them. But if you let them free range, like all my babies, muck, 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 muck. Shit, here they come. Look, look. Muck, 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 muck. Muck, 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 muck. Muck, 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 muck. You let them all free range. See, that's their core. Look at them. Have a look at them. Muck, 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 muck. Look a little wobble on this one. Hey. So free ranging, they get all the vegetables. Plus they get all the insects too. Now, they love moths. They love the moths and all that type of stuff. Um, if they see like a gecko, if a gecko falls down, they fight over that thing like anything. They just fight for it. <laughs> so anything. And I've seen them... I've seen them at the front gate where the young sparrows have uh, learned to fly and they fall down, which was last week, and one of them fell down, and one of the chickens just ran up straight away, good hold it, gone. For oh, fresh meat, fucking take that bitch, fucking A. Right, so what we'll do, what we'll do, Alfredo, we'll take, we'll take these ones off here, we'll take the ends off here, and we've got to, one of these ends come out somewhere. One of these ends have come out, so I've got to put some monkey cum monkey cum on it which i think this one up here so i put some monkey cum on it and um she'll be right but uh i think the idea for me is to keep it lightweight and it's so easy to move every day all right we're going to get into it guys we'll be back at you right so alfredo's doing this so i haven't been on this side here but i said these ties this is a couple of years now and these ties have lasted bloody quite good they've lasted quite good indeed so I'm quite pleased, very pleased with it. They're very cheap to make too, guys. There was videos on it, but of course, the hackers got me because they were jealous of my channel. They hacked me, but not to worry, we just move on. So like I said, it works very well. It just keeps them in. The cats can't get into them overnight. The only predators you have here are cats of a night time, but uh, they can't get in at all. So it turns out it's still okay. Right, so that's all the bottom fully secured. So I've done that about every, Every five, six inches, they've got a um, tie all the way around. I said the plastic ones lasted a long time. Look, they're still, a lot of them still here, look. Went well. I would have used plastic ties again, only they're an inch short. 
So what this is, this is three inch pipe, three inch pipe here, and um, I think there's one and a half inch pipe or two inch pipe there, and it's just these end joiners on the end here. Okay, it's a complete right angle degree, and I've got a plug on the end there so that snakes and all that don't go up inside, is how I've done that. So it's just two full lengths of this, the other length is cut in half, so it was three lengths all up, and uh, I'll just cut them in half and away you go. So very easy to make guys, very, very easy to make. And the thing is, it's got to be very lightweight. Look at that. Very, very lightweight, you know. Pick that up by the tip of the prick. I'll tell you, very good. Oh, there's a hole up here. Let me get this one. All right, guys, so what we're using is the, the battery-operated saw. Now, I always go through where the hard knuckles are, wherever I can. Now, if you go through the hard knuckle part... Look at that. Absolutely beautiful. These saws work so well, guys. Right, four feet, Alfredo. Three, whoop. Three, four. This one's not going to be there, but not to worry. Okay, I'll give you that one. There you go. Look at that. Absolutely lovely. Take this one. Thank you. Mm, four feet here. Let's see, where's the knuckle? Put him on the knuckle there, Alfredo. On the join. Well, <coughs> mm. no, it's, not, it's going to be close enough. Okay, four feet here. Okay, thank you. Mm. Mm, hairy bits. So there you go. Ugh. So now we've got these end bits here. So what we'll do with these, these will go on the end. We'll wire them on the bottom and the top, like so. They'll go on here like this. And we'll be able to tie off one in the middle for the perch. And we'll also, once we put the plastic on top, then we'll be able to tie one on the top here to go down. Because they like climbing on top of the bars, they really do. And that's how the, um, that's how the black plastic gets stuffed or fucked up, whatever way you want to put it. Busted. Right guys, so what I do is I folded this end over, just like so. Okay, that gives it a bit more support. Just give it a, give it a little stab. Oh, I'm on it. I'm on it there, aren't I? There we go. Give it a little stab. Oh, I'm a little more falling down. Now I'll pass this to Alfredo on the inside. And so what he'll do now, pass him up to me. Now these are nice and thick. These should last, last a bit of time, these. There you go. So that's how we do the sides. Just double it over and put the ties on. Now we leave it on the side here, okay? Leave it on the sides air. It's got to go through. So if you keep it, don't put it all on one side. That just doesn't work. It just doesn't work at all. One model I did do, I secured it in the middle here. I secured it in the middle and this was actually free loose down with a bit of bamboo so if the sun's on this side i could flip it this roof over on this side here and if the sun coming up of the morning was on the opposite side i could turn that over and put it onto this side but i found a lot of fucking around so just put the roof on like that and be done with it they'll move out of the shade anyway so right we're going to tie all these down and i'll be back right there you go guys plastics on tied down Support rails up here. This is onto here. So this is nice and solid for the chickens. That's one perch running lengthwise And they're out of the rain and of course the wind can come up underneath This here is what we used to lift it up with it's Doubled in weight now putting that bamboo on because the plastic is so light But it's still better compared to wood Still better and this one here look voila Now when I put the the little chickens in then I'll put little perches across the bottom like you see here. They like these ones here so that they can sit there and look out. Then when they get bigger, they learn to jump. And that's why I had that other pattern. But this one I want for the bigger chickens to go in and out. Now, I don't have to worry about a door on this because it's for the big guys. And uh, I've, I've never closed the door when the, for the big ones. I've never closed it, so I don't have to worry about it at all. So see this, I'll cut this back off here and fold this one back. And there you go, guys. That's the chicken tractor done. It's bloody hot, I tell you. No windows here. 
They put any windows in for a deliberate reason. It's, it's, um, didn't want. Right, so there you go, guys. All tied down, all secured. One more chicken tractor back in action. If you have any questions about how I made these, as I said, they are on the old videos of the channel that got hacked by the trolls. But um, I said it's quite easy. It's just the length, the length of this joined with a T. Here I've used the um, the drill, those drills that are on a, uh, they look like a, um, a pyramid upside down. And they go um, one eight, two eight, three eight, four eight, and all that shit. And as, as you drill down, the deeper you go into them, that's how they turn out. And they're actually that good. I'm gonna buy another set of them because I've used them so much. We're not drill steel. Like, fuck using them bloody drill bits, mate. No way, Charlie Brown. No way. Now, this is stuff that I use all the time. Uh, where are they? Where are they? Alright. So many drill bit parts. So I'll find them later. But they are very, very good. Trust me, darling. Very good. So they're, they're shaped on a, um, I said a pyramid upside down. And each one is, as you go down, it's like um, uh, three eighths. Then you go down one another next level and it's four eighths. It's a half inch. Then five sixteenths and all this type of shit. And I'll tell you, I used them on all the pig pens when I welded up all through there. And that fixed steel, they just went straight through it like like a hot knife in butter. And uh, they're well worth it. If you, you want to get set, they come in packs of um, three or four. I'll put a link down below in the description. And I'll tell you, I use those so fucking much. Like I said, drill them through plastic. All right, so I just drilled through here and just bent, put the uh, plastic inside the plastic. Um, pipe half inch pipe inside and just goes boop done and if i keep going you go um from half inch up to uh five sixteenth and seven sixteenth and all that shit bigger 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 so i'll put a link down below on those they're well worth it guys and um you can get them on um lazada you can get them on amazon and all them type of places and i'll tell you once you use them you, you look at your drill bit set and you go fuck that shit mate you know and these things don't break they don't break all right, that's us finished. Happy, Alfredo? Happy, happy. happy. one more chicken hotel for the big chickens. Done, finished, class. Okay, very good. All right, we'll see you after lunch, Alfredo. Yeah. So it's um, 10 to 12. I wanted to finish this before I do the animals. So um, we'll just tidy everything up. I'll go now and get all the animals fed and everything's done. So this is us with the chicken tractors on the Aussie farm in the Philippines, guys. If you need more information, just let us know. Don't forget, have a look up here at Barhead's videos. He's starting a very good farm, guys, clearing it from the start. Don't let your dream die. Yeah, that motherfuckers, don't let your dream die. Don't let it die. You can do it, trust me.